Hey guys, Emily here at Redwater Dodge, home of the $10 oil change, rig ready Rams, and now we buy your Ram. This is a 2022 Jeep Compass, so let's go check it out. Up at the front of this one, since it is a Trailhawk, you are going to have your red Trailhawk decal. You're also going to have the red tow hooks, as well as some additional skid plating underneath. You're going to have your classic seven slot Jeep grill here, blacked out Jeep badging, and then of course your LED headlights. And then if we lift up the hood, you do have your 2.4 liter engine. Along the side of this one, it is sitting on 17 inch chrome wheels. Blind spot monitoring and cross path detection in this one. Of course, you're gonna have your black and red compass badging as well as your trail hop badging. Proximity entry on your color match door handles. If we come into the back here, you are ready to tow on this one. You do have a hitch, super, super handy. And then again, another red tow hook. This one is four by four. It's gonna have all of your blacked out accents as well as that Trailhawk badging. Backup camera right here. It is a power lift gate. So it's gonna open up super easy for you. In the back here, lots and lots of storage. You're gonna have some tethers as well. You're gonna have a 12 volt plug-in and then really easy access to all those car seat tethers. But now we're gonna check out the front. Up in the front of this one, you do have your black vinyl seats, and they are going to have the cloth inserts in them. They are heated as well. You have two cup holders here in your center console area, as well as your additional center console here. You do have a nice deep storage area right here, as well as a USB and USB-C plug-in. And then, of course, lots of storage in your glove box here. This one is equipped with a really big screen. Here's where you have access to all of your apps. Here is all of your vehicle profile, so your display, clock and date, all that good stuff. Here's where your phone would be displayed if you did hook it up. This one is fully compatible with your Bluetooth. Dual climate control on this one, which you can control right here on the screen or down here with your buttons, totally up to you. Here's where you have access to all of your media, so if your phone is hooked up, it will also display here as well. And then once again, we can come to home where you can actually split your screens. You can have a couple of, screen of screens displaying at the same time. Coming down a little bit lower here, this one does have your automatic start stop. You can also turn on and off your traction control. This one does have the lane keep assist, and then you can turn off those park sensors if they are driving you crazy. If you don't want to use this screen, it can be kind of bright at night if it's shining in your face. There's just a little screen off button to turn it right off for you. And then again, like I mentioned, you can control the climate still with the screen off. Coming down here to your select terrain control, this one comes equipped with rock mode, sand mode, mud road, snow, and auto. And then of course you do have your four wheel drive as well. And this one does have your hill descent control too. Coming over to the steering wheel, it is heated. You're gonna have your hand-free controls and your cruise controls right conveniently on the steering wheel for you. Auto mirrors, auto seats, and auto locks, which is always nice. You're going to have your auto high beams and then rain sensing windshield wipers as well. Coming up here, you do have a universal garage door opener. So each of these buttons can be programmed to open a different garage door. Then of course, an auto dimming rear view mirror, but now we're gonna go finish up in the back seat. In the back of this one, as you can see, lots and lots of leg rooms for your passengers, which is always a good thing. You're going to have a center armrest here that folds out. It has two cup holders in it for your passengers. And then you're also going to have additional cup holders on your doors as well. Onto your center console right here, your passengers can each control their own airflow. And they're also going to have some charging options. They're going to have a USB, a USB-C up top. Down below, there's a 115 volt and a 12 volt, so you have all of your charging options on those long road trips. Lots of storage in these seat pockets here as well. And then you also are going to have the all weather Jeep floor mats. These seats also do fold down completely flat. So if you're wanting to fit any hockey bags back here, groceries, pets, anything like that, you have the room. If you want additional information on this Jeep, you can click the link below for pictures and pricing, or you can give us a call 780-942-3629.